Hey, it's Clem from DaddyDaughterKitchen.com, and this video is not a cooking video, but it is sort of a 2.0 version of a video I had done previously reviewing the Ultimate Sack beanbag chair. Uh, I've spent the last, oh, we're getting close to about a year reclaiming what was once uh, a Lego and Barbie playground into an actual man cave. One of the things that I did was purchase three, now, Ultimate Sacks. Uh, a six-footer and two five-footers. Uh, which should tell you that I like these things. So let's take a look at the original video and then I'll provide some of my updated thoughts uh, over the past several months of owning these things. And today we're going to do a product review and unboxing of what I think is going to be one of the cooler additions to my man cave here. I was recently at a uh, sort of a learning event, if you want to call it that, uh, at my company and in this creative room they had these huge beanbag chairs by a company called Ultimate Sack. And uh, I just, I loved the way they felt. They were awesome, incredibly comfortable. And uh, so I ordered one this past Sunday. And now here we are Friday, so just four business days later, and it's arrived. So let's unbox this thing and try it out. This thing is big. And it's going to get bigger when I unpack it. Because it is a six-foot beanbag chair. Uh, and according to the label here, it weighs 70 pounds. So this is going to be kind of fun uh, trying to get down the stairs by myself, but we'll give it a shot. If you're wondering about uh, clearance as far as the box goes, getting it through doors, it, the box itself is supposed to be, I think, 24 inches, closer to 28 once you deal with the Boeing. Fortunately, uh, I think most doors are 32 inches. I was able to clear it. Uh, didn't even scrape my knuckles. First, we'll just sort of debox everything. This appears to be the uh, cover. Apparently this is a big foam brick that's going to start expanding. So here it is. Here's all of the foam. And apparently I'm supposed to start breaking this stuff apart while at the same time not getting it all over the basement. Plan on vacuuming when you get done with this. I'm getting ready to put the cover on, but I want you to just see how well constructed this is. This this zipper is the biggest zipper I think I've ever seen in my life. I mean, it is some heavy duty stuff. The fabric itself, also very thick, very heavy duty. So we've applied the cover and, you know, it seems like there's a fair amount of extra fabric right now. But uh, I know based on the ones at work that this foam is going to continue to expand uh, over the next few days. So, I've had uh, the ultimate sack now for three days. It has gotten bigger, um, crazy comfortable. We'll, uh, we'll give it a couple more days and then we'll do the final verdict. One thing that's really good, giddy, one thing that's really good, come on, this is my show. 
when you're trying to get this to fluff up, if you have some kids that like to roughhouse, it, uh, it really helps. How does the ultimate sack perform in the sack challenge against the other famous sack, the hacky sack? I can only hit that once. I can hit that all day. <clears throat> Not so comfortable. Very nice. So a couple comments on the Ultimate Sack. I love them. They, it's, it's like leaning back into memory foam. They just contour themselves to your body. Uh, I would say that one of the downsides to having black is uh, any bit of dust, fuzz, pet hair shows up on them. So bear that in mind. Um, you know, these probably all need to be hit with a, a lint brush again, and I think, you know, we hit them every couple of weeks uh, just to pick up the, the stuff that's on them. Um, if you got kids, they're going to love these things. I have a 14-year-old son and a 13-year-old daughter, and, uh, I mean, they just, when they have sleepovers, this is the place to be. They want to be on these ultimate sacks. They love sitting on them while playing video games, watching movies, or just, you know, crashing out when they're having a slumber party. Uh, they do kind of compress. So if I sat on this for a while, um, it's going to hold that shape and almost feel a little bit flat. So be aware, you know, you're going to need to fluff them up periodically. But uh, on the whole, I've been just, I've been immensely satisfied with them. It really is pretty comfy to sit down and, you know, watch a, a football game or, or play some video games. Now, I know there's some competing um, large beanbag chairs out there. I think Love Sack is one of them. And, uh, you know, it seems like on, on the old video, I got a lot of comments from people that were big advocates of the Love Sack versus the Ultimate Sack. I say, you know, whatever makes you happy. You know, if, if you like Love Sack, enjoy your Love Sack, be happy with your Love Sack. I bought these, I love them, and uh, I'm happy too.